Our spring swing tour of the South continues here on today's Y'all Show. Hello, I'm John Rawl, and yes, we are having fun. Auburn and Opelika, Alabama is where you'll find the Y'all Show as we're virtually all over the South this spring, and we find ourselves today in this lovely little spot in East Alabama. And if you come to East Alabama and you stay at places like the hotel at Auburn University, and then you want to get out on the town and and see what it's all about and you want to have a great place to go well our next guest matt poirier he's got about three places in the auburn opelika area that you'll want to make sure you you make sure you check out he's got some delicious options for you and he's the owner of the hound as well as other places we'll talk about and matt poirier is on with us right now hello matt hi there how are you matt thank you very much for coming on it is a delight to be there and i know that we're all hoping and praying that you and everybody else that have restaurants in the Auburn and Opelika area are back up and going the way you ought to be. Hopefully the last couple of weeks have not been the worst for you and we're ready for a better day. We're all certainly hoping for it. Um, and we are uh, planning right now, you know, for the reopening once we get a safe timeline. So uh, get back to, I don't know, normal is the right word, but uh start moving in that direction. So that's that's the hope in the next uh, two weeks to a month. Have you been doing takeout at all these last couple of weeks? We quit, well, so uh, at the restaurants, we uh, started out doing that for a couple of weeks and found that really we're not set up to do curbside and to-go service. That's not really? how we designed it. That's not how we designed it. Okay. So uh, it was labor intensive and when coupled with um, the fear that we weren't able to protect uh, our cu our customers and our employees enough, not knowing enough about the virus, we made the decision on April 1st to go ahead and shut down. So we did it for about two weeks, the last part of March. Uh, April 1st, we decided to shut down, conserve our cash, uh, and wait to learn more and to make sure that we could uh, safely uh, serve our customer base so right now what we've started doing is these markets they're provisional markets so we have food uh hot meals mixed with uh raw provisions so from the depot which is primarily seafood we're doing a snapper and mahi and oysters and some steaks too and then the hound uh we're this weekend we're doing our first market and we're doing some homemade pies and brunch on sunday and uh some uh, dinners on Saturday night. So we're doing, uh, and it's being manned by one person, the chefs are oh. doing it. So we feel and sourced from very reliable sources. So we feel that it's really safe uh, and how it's being handled, where it's being sourced and how we're distributing that to the customer. So we felt that it was okay to start doing that. So we do that about once a week. Again, you mentioned the depot. That's one of three restaurants you have in Auburn and Opelika, Alabama. You also have the great restaurant Sneak and Dawdle, that's in Opelika. We'll learn more about that. And then yeah, maybe... That's a lounge, just a bar, just so you know. Just a, so The Sneak and Dawdle's a lounge, a bar. It's uh, no food, just booze. Oh, y'all are allowed just to do booze. that there. That, a lot of towns require you to have right. food, so... Yeah, yeah. everybody kept asking me the same question. Yeah, there's no food, not even snacks? <laughs> when I was opening... Yeah. Know, people didn't quite understand that concept, but there's not okay. very many of them. Yeah. Well, some people fill up on their drinks, and I have to ask you, Matt, is Auburn Opelika a college town with a drinking problem or a drinking town with a college problem? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we, it's, it's interesting uh, in Alabama that they allow 19-year-olds into bars, but they can't, they're not supposed to drink. So Alabama presents some interesting uh, obstacles, if you will, or some, for safely... Uh, serving alcohol uh, okay. so we're very careful about that it's not worth the risk sure. to serve underage people and and so and we're also very careful about uh how much we serve people we try to be uh just because there are laws that make us liable if we overserve and somebody were to get in an accident or hurt somebody so uh you know we try to be responsible about it but they're, they're pretty good game days are a whole other animal but you know I, mostly I they're they're pretty good yeah well, your, two of your places, we know have great food. All three of your options in the Auburn Opelika area, you, you can go in and get you a really, really good drink. In fact, Matt, if we had to poll you right now, what's the most popular drink there in Auburn Opelika, Alabama? 
At the depot, it's uh, we serve a lot of wine, um, but our cocktails, I'd say, um, we serve a great uh, dirty martini there that gets a lot. People love a lot, and then we change those cocktails. See, they're pretty seasonal, so there's very few that have been there since we've opened. We've been open a uh, four and a half years now, so we change those seasonally. At the Hound, which is more of a bourbon bar and craft beer, we serve a lot of draft beer, you know, 28 uh, beers on draft. But the Old Fashioned is, I think, the, the runaway bestseller there. And Sneak and Dawdle, which is a craft cocktail bar. I have to say again, I say the, the Old Fashioned there, which we do some hickory smoke and a piece of bacon with, uh, is, is, uh, is also more, probably the bestseller as well. We're looking at some video of the Hound, and that is located 124 Tishner Avenue in Auburn, Alabama. For those who aren't quite familiar with all the nooks and crannies of Auburn, where are you located, essentially? Well, yeah, so uh, the Hound is right next to City Hall, Okay. Uh, directly next to City Hall, next to the municipal parking deck. Right now, the only parking deck in town. They're building a second one now, uh, but it is right, right in between, right there, um, uh, between Gay Street and College in Tishner and Magnolia. There's a block there and it has a bunch of businesses and it has the municipal parking deck in City Hall. No the excuse depot, to not come there. You're going to find a parking spot, right? Well, you know, uh, <laughs> Auburn is uh, Auburn can be challenging with its parking, but it's gotten a, a lot better. They offer um, valet downtown and uh, they've changed some of the some of the parking regulations there to free up stuff during the day, especially to discourage students from parking there all day. So, uh, you know, Friday nights uh, when everybody's busy, parking can be a little difficult. I'm not going to lie, but uh, most people uh, make it happen. Uh, the depot, uh, which is a block or so away in the old historic train depot in Auburn on Mitchum Avenue, uh, has valet. So parking is not really an issue there. And then uh, Sneak and Dottle, there's really no parking issue down in downtown uh, Opelika at the moment. Okay. Again, Matt Poirier, our guest here on today's Spotlight of Auburn, Opelika, Alabama. Matt is a owner of The Hound Bacon and Bourbon in Auburn, Alabama. Also, The Depot in Auburn. And then just across the highway in Opelika, Sneak and Dottle is a place you'll find another Matt Poirier property. And so when we go back to talking about The Hound, Matt, I love that title, The Hound, Bacon and Bourbon. Pretty catchy. Yeah. Yeah, we, you know, so we, we cure our own bacon in-house. So we do a unique take on it. We take our, our pork bellies. We do a dry cure, all-natural dry cure. And we, you know, slice it in-house and serve it in-house. So bacon, doing our own bacon was kind of a foundational uh, aspect of the concept. And then... You know, when I was uh, the, the the depot, I'm sorry, the Hound just celebrated eight years of being open, middle of March. So March 16th was eight Congratulations. years. Congratulations. In fact, you got so much stuff here. I know it gets confusing just like you just did. Yeah. <laughs> you were a little tongue tied talking about your properties. Yeah. It's like calling my kids by the wrong name. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's yeah. So the, the Hound, um, you know, and the other thing I noticed uh, was there wasn't a lot of craft beer selection in town and there wasn't a great bourbon bar in town, which really surprised me. I had moved from Northern California and there were several great whiskey bars in San Francisco where I was living at the time, but there wasn't one in Auburn. I'm in the South. So I decided at that point that I would buy up every single bourbon, uh, you know, and, and whiskey that I could, uh, and, and try to have the best uh, selection in the state if possible. So that's kind of been the goal from the beginning. And that's where the bacon and bourbon comes in. And when you go to places like the Hound in Auburn and you visit Matt, you're going to have incredible food selections waiting on you. And I've got to talk about these, Matt. You got a big fat ribeye. Ooh, that sounds delicious. And then you have burgers. And in the mix of your hamburger options, you got something called a bison burger. Do tell. Okay. So, you know, again, wanting to do something uh, a little bit different. Bison is a... You know, the bison that we source is sustainably sourced, and bison itself, as far as a red meat is concerned, is leaner than chicken. It's, it's, a, it's a healthier alternative to standard uh, industrially raised uh, beef, and it's got a great flavor, and it's one of our best sellers for sure. Uh, 
So it's just something a little different, a little twist on the normal burger, and it's it's delicious. It's one of my favorite items there. Uh, you know, and we try to do that with all of our meats. I think another best seller is our Berkshire pork chop. And, you know, our chef there, Robbie Nicolason, uh, does an amazing job of coming up with some really creative dish, dishes. You know, we've had uh, rabbit. He's done some uh, he did a Korean KFC and, and, and waffles, which is like a Korean style fried chicken, and waffles, oh, a homemade waffle. I was wondering how you got away um, with that from a ownership copyright standpoint. And now, right, now right. it makes sense. Yeah. So, you know, he, he's, he's, he's at both places. We are very creative chefs uh, with a lot of experience and, and, uh, and at the Hound. I mean, we were featured on the Food Channel for his meatloaf burger, which he came up, which is a meatloaf blend. Uh, with, uh, you know, boars and cheese and roasted tomatoes. And it's uh, another another good seller. And and so we, we do uh, sell quite a few burgers, but really our entrees also um, are, are, are amazing. And uh, and then our brunch, is, our brunch is very popular. You have also, there are some pork items. I saw that here in the video being served up. I want to ask you about that. And then you got... For us Southerners, we love our shrimp and grits, and I know that's on your menu yeah. as well. It is. It is. Each the depot and the hound both have different versions, slightly different versions of that classic dish. Can you tell us the basic uh, difference? Sure. Uh, at the uh, at the hound, uh, we use an heirloom grit, um, and we uh, have. It's more of a. It's an andouille cream sauce. Is the base of the sauce with it. Uh, at the depot, we use an heirloom blue grit. Uh-huh. So it's a blue corn and the sauce is, uh, not, a, it's not a cream based sauce. Uh, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a different type of sauce. So it, it looks different. It looks very different. And it's, uh, the flavor profile is similar. You still have a little bit of spice and, and of course the, the shrimp flavor, um, but they're slightly different, uh, uh, slightly different flavor profiles uh, and looks. So, The Hound website, if you want to visit Matt Poirier virtually, the website is thehound-auburn.com, and there you'll get a good glimpse of what goes on there in downtown Auburn with not only the Hound, but you have links there virtually to see the depot and s- the uh, Sneak and Dawdle in Opelika. And I also want to ask you, while we have you here for a few more minutes, Matt Poirier, our guest here on today's Y'all Show, you have a really good variety of dining times that you can go in. You're open for lunch. You've got a brunch available as well. In fact, when you come in for lunch, specifically, you've got something on the menu, the hot chick sandwich. Does that have something to do with Nashville? Right. No, it's it's actually not. It was just kind of a fun name that we came up with several years ago, actually before I even had Nashville Hot Chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it, it's you can get it done three ways: grilled, a little healthier option, blackened or fried. And uh, so it's our version of, of, of a fried chicken sandwich that started out. But you can get a little healthier version if you want and get it grilled. But uh, that's 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 a very popular lunch item, and it comes with pepper jack cheese, and tomato and lettuce, uh, and a and a, a spicy aioli. So uh, it's got some kick to it. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's not quite, it's not hush. It's not trying to, uh, replicate, uh, not a uh, Nashville hot chicken. I understand. And then yeah. you have the brunch. Is that more of a weekend type option for you? It is. Both places have Saturday and Sunday brunch and they're very popular. Uh, we, we, we do, we do a good brunch business. We were. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. again, you're right there yeah. in the heart of it all in Auburn, Alabama. And there's no excuse. If you're going to get stuck in traffic on a game weekend, you might as well just roll Tumor's Corner and then swing on by the various locations that Matt Poirier has in Auburn, Opelika, the Depot, the Sneak and Dawdle in Opelika, and then the Hound. And again, the biggest difference between the Depot and the Hound, you've got more seafood items at the Depot, depot right? Yes, I have more seafood items. Uh, <laughs> I have more seafood items, and we're more wine-focused and cocktails. The hound is American comfort food and twists of that nature. Uh, good meatloaf, pork chop, like you said, the big fat steak, which is a 16-ounce ribeye, and uh, bourbon and draft beer. So those are the that's that's the main difference between the two. And all of this in Auburn, Opelika, is this little special spot in East Alabama is our virtual location we're visiting as part of our spring swing tour of this, the Y'all Show with 
John Rawl talking with Matt Poirier. And go there right now and go there big time when all these crazy restrictions are lifted. I know Matt and your staff, you've patiently waited for the masses to come in and that day is going to come sooner than we, we all hope. And make sure you visit and stay and hang out for multiple days. In fact, why don't you just go to Auburn Opelika for at least three days and knock off each day one of Matt Poirier's property, the Hound, the Depot, and the Sneak and Dawdle in beautiful Opelika. So there you have it. We've set the stage. You can go to the website, and the hound-auburn.com is where you'll need to go for the Hound. Matt, what are your other locations on the web for Sneak and Dawdle and the Depot? For the Depot, it's allaboardauburn.com. Okay. I like or that. Or Sneak and Dawdle, it's sneakanddawdle.com. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, pretty easy stuff here, Matt. Pretty easy stuff. All I'm right. Trying to keep it easy. We, we've got everybody's vacation plan to Auburn, Opelika, and... We know that you're sitting there with open arms, ready to take everybody in. Matt Poirier, thank you for coming on today's Y'all Show and giving us a, a great taste of what you got going on there at these properties, the Hound, the Depot, and Sneak and Dawdle. Best of luck to you when everything gets back up and going. Thank you, John. Really appreciate it. We're very appreciative of you coming on. And that will wrap up our portion of the Y'all Show of talking about food, but we're not done talking about Auburn and Opelika. You stay tuned because Robin Bridges of the Auburn Auburn Opelika Tourism Office is going to be back on to give us a full dose of more info about this spot in Lee County, Alabama. Stay tuned. More of the Y'all Show is coming right back at you. <laughs>